So filters, any kind of filters, especially UV filters, do they degrade image quality when you're using them or should you just use them for protection? I took it upon myself to go out, do a really, really quick test leak, show you the results and to give you my final thoughts. So do UV filters, you know, degrade quality? Let's check it out. So as I said, I really wanted to find this out. I took my D7000 and my 24 to 70 because I have, uh, you know, certain UV filters for my 24 to 70, even though I don't always use them. Uh, I decided to use my Hoya 77 uh, millimeter filter. That's typically on my lens sometimes, sometimes it's not. So I shot uh, this one scene, I laid on the ground, I did it without a filter, then I did it uh, with the Hoya one, and then I did it with an off-branded one, ones that aren't very popular or anything like that, you know, the cheap, less than $10 ones, just to show, you know, do they degrade quality? So here is my original image. So this is something more that I wanted. I wanted to overexpose a little bit, expose more for the sky, so that way you can see, you know, the brightness and how much, you know, it would change uh, if I used, you know, different kind of filters. So this is what I was. I didn't change any settings after this. I left it on, you know, high F stop. Uh, once again, I didn't touch the settings after this. I just laid on the ground and took the shots. So this is what it looked like without any kind of uh, filter on it or anything. So this was clear. Then I put on the Hoya, my 77 millimeter Hoya one. Uh, you know, they're higher end. They're not as expensive as a B&W, but I feel like, you know, the Hoyas do a fantastic job. And this was, once again, the framing changed a little bit, but this was the Hoya. So if you go back and forth, this is the no, no filter to there, you know, nothing really changed. Uh, I don't even notice maybe a little shift in contrast. I don't even know. I don't even see a little shift in contrast. So I'm going to go to the original one and I'm going to show you uh, the one where I use the, uh, not off-branded, I don't want to say, but the cheaper filters. And this is where you can kind of see uh, a lot going on. And, you know, yeah. So, all right, here's the no filter one. And here is the, um, yeah, I mean, it looks like I put an ND filter on this thing. And the fact is, it's not. It's just a 77 millimeter um, UV filter. And you see, it takes away some contrast. It darkened it a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. It looks a little better. The sky darker that way. But that's not what I intended for this. So as you see uh, in these areas here, I'll even go in close. You know what? I wanted to keep it a little lighter on the car, even though it's in a shaded area. So exposed for around here. And, to, you know, I really wanted to blow out the sky to show this. So you get something from this to something like that to where... It definitely darkened it up. Uh, yeah, and that's just how it was. It looks a little, way less contrasty. Um, yeah, just not something you want to go for. So if you're so overall, if you're thinking about um, you know using these cheaper filters, they can be they can be great because uh, you know they can be used for protection uh, in a in a sense. Because I know someone whose uh, their mount broke off their D7000, their 7200 hit the ground, you know, straight down, and the only thing that broke was their UV filter. So that's great. That's perfect. But what I shoot, you know, with that. So if I go for something like this to this, ah, you know, that's not good because it's not giving me what I pictured. Once again, here's the Hoya filter, which looks the exact same uh, minus my framing. Uh, yeah. So my theory is be careful what you shoot. You might get something darker. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, your quality really isn't a good filter on this one. So if you're going to try and cheap out, just be wary, just be cautious. Some may or some may not. Uh, but I found that, you know, because I've used these kind of filters before, that they can degrade your quality a little bit. You can lose a little bit of contrast and what you were going for. Because I said I needed a little lighter and it just, it doesn't look good to me. And you lost a lot uh, in regards to that. And it, yeah, so just be careful about that. If you want a good UV filter that'll handle great protection and everything like that, you know what, spend some money you put into it. If not, just know that, you know, if you want to maybe get a protection one, you know what, you might spend $10, $15 from China to get it. Just be wary. That's all I got. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. So can UV filters degrade? Yes. Uh, just be very, very weary upon that. As I said, uh, Tiff and Hoyas are usually good, but you could be really safe with like a B&W uh, type of filters. That's all I got. Be careful. Give us a quick thumbs up. It helped you out. Or if you notice, have you guys ever had a problem like this? Let me know down below. Have a good one.